the stations of KUAM, wishing you and yours a very happy holiday. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion. KUAM News Headlines is presented by Calvo's Insurance, a legacy of trust. Serving Micronesia since 1938. Matson Navigation, serving Guam and Micronesia for 20 years. Cars Plus, Dodge Challenger, the undisputed champion. IP&E, fueling excellence. McDonald's of Guam, I'm loving it. And King's Restaurant, located in Tamuning and Dededo. Always open, always local. Coming up on Primetime, a former NBA star and friend to the leader of North Korea, Nestor Lakanto shows you what brings Dennis Rodman to the island. Also tonight, the results are in after an autopsy is formed on a crabber who was found dead in Pagat earlier this week. And also on the show, the Charter School Council is back at it. Carmen Terlahi has the latest on the discussion for a pair of proposed charter schools. Half a day, everybody, and a good evening. One man has a close relationship with the man President Donald Trump has called the Rocket Man, Bree. Retired NBA great, five-time champion and former All-Star Dennis Rodman believes that his good friend, North Korea leader Kim Jong-un, has no plans to launch missiles towards our island. Rodman arrived Thursday for a first-ever visit and spoke with local media about Kim and Trump, who is also his former reality TV boss. Nestor Lakanto has a story. The retired five-time NBA champion and former Apprentice TV personality is well known for his off-the-court attention-grabbing antics. In a news conference at the Hilton, Rodman downplayed the dispute between his two powerful friends while responding to questions over Kim's nuclear missile threats that place Guam squarely in the crosshairs. I see that Donald Trump and him, it's more like two big kids who's the, who's the toughest. Who's the toughest because you know what? I don't know why what, what he even remotely, in my eyes, remotely think about bombing anything in the world. I never heard of him say it in my face. And we talk all the time. Rodman has been to North Korea multiple times and says he will be returning there very soon. He says he never speaks to Kim about world affairs, which is why he believes they remain close. To me, I always think he's a big kid. Because always, we always talk about basketball. That's all we talk about is basketball. No, no, uh, no politics, no, no, uh, no, nothing about, uh, you know, America against uh, North Korea. We don't talk about stuff like that. But he is clearly bothered by the latest tensions and seems willing to do whatever it takes to bring his friends to the table. He says he has offered to President Trump to be a mediator, but his former apprentice show boss has not taken him up on it. I would sacrifice my life. For those two guys get together. I will go there and put my life on the, on the line. You're getting emotional, why? Because it sucks. It just sucks, man. Rodman is also promoting a company called Potcoin, which launched a cryptocurrency for medicinal cannabis growers. It provides an alternative to banks, which are still prohibited by federal law from accepting deposits from the marijuana industry. Rodman arrived from New York and leaves Saturday. While here, he is scheduled to visit various schools to talk basketball. He says he also plans to visit the beaches and maybe even take in the local nightlife. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lakanto. In other island news, they told police they thought the home was abandoned, that is, until they were confronted by the homeowner in the yard. Court documents state the victim watched the intruders from his mobile phone, which is linked to surveillance cameras at the house. That prompted him to call police and show up to the scene himself. Now, although nothing appears to have been stolen, Jason J. Rivera, Oscar Joseph Rivera, and Dimitri Hill were arrested and charged with burglary and criminal trespass. He's accused of being a peeping Tom. A group of teenage girls hanging by the pool at a Mingilao apartment complex called the cops after they spotted a naked man on his balcony. 20-year-old Dylan Matthew Betts was arrested Wednesday for two counts of indecent exposure as a third-degree felony. Court documents state the girls saw the man masturbating as he watched them from his room. Though he admitted he was naked and that he stopped for a few seconds, he denied exposing his privates or touching himself. The victims, meanwhile, reported this wasn't the first time and that a similar incident occurred last month. Well, it was quite the scary incident for one woman who was out drinking with friends as court documents state that a 28-year-old victim had fallen asleep and upon her time when she awoke, a man known to her was having sex with her. 
That man has since been identified as 29-year-old Robert Tyrone Diaz Regis. The woman told authorities she did not consent, that she felt powerless and un unable to move, and woke up wearing a different set of clothes. Court documents state that she had admitted to having, quote, drunken sex with her and admitted that he was at fault. The crab hunter who was found dead earlier this week died from natural causes. Late Monday night, Gerard Cabana and a friend had gone into the Mingilao jungles when they got separated. Rescue units recovered his body the following morning. Cabana, according to an autopsy performed this week, died from hypertension. He was 50 years old. Well, another man was part of a conspiracy to smuggle close to 780 grams of ice via tubes of toothpaste. In federal court this week, John Robert Guerrero was sentenced to over four years in jail with credit for time served. During a hearing, parties argued that Guerrero's culpability, considering his co-defendant and girlfriend, Kim Choati, had her case dismissed. Federal Public Defender John Gorman argued Choati was the mastermind of the operation, while Guerrero was more like an employee. The drugs were sent to Guam from Las Vegas. She was released after she pleaded guilty for her part in the major scheme to smuggle contraband into the prison. Now, Roxanne Hokog is back behind bars after failing a drug test twice. Hokog appeared in the Superior Court Wednesday for a violation hearing. Last month, she pleaded guilty to delivery of a Schedule II controlled substance and conspiracy to give bribes. She also pleaded guilty to delivery of a Schedule II controlled substance and drug possession in a second case after being caught selling while on house arrest. The court ordered that she stay in prison until the 20th. Well, close to 150 clergy sexual abuse lawsuits have been filed to date, with the most recent having been filed in federal court by a man only identified as 49-year-old J.M.Q. A former Boy Scout and altar boy at the Barragata Church alleges he was sexually molested and raped by Father Louis Brouillard in the late 1970s. Similar to other allegations against the former Guam priest, J.M.Q. reports that Brouillard took the boys on swimming trips instructed them to remove their clothes and groped and touched their private parts. He is suing for $10 million. Friday has been declared a government holiday, so we have some road closures to tell you about for tomorrow's Feast of Santa Maria Camelin celebration. The procession will begin at 4.15 in the afternoon at the Cathedral Basilica in Hagatnia on Dulce de Maria Drive, then to West O'Brien Drive and up toward 5th Street. The, route, the route turns back on West Soledad Avenue and finishes off back at the church. The closures along the procession route will begin around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Several services will also be held at the cathedral throughout the day with the first mass set for 5.45 in the morning. KUAM TV 11 will broadcast the Feast of the Immaculate Conception Mass live from the Hagatnia Cathedral Basilica on December 8th at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, everybody, we are going to take a quick commercial break. Please stay tuned. We are back after this. There are more ways to experience KUAM News than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM News app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming with KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. Cavill Select Care provides our members several wellness programs and healthy options to improve their overall health status in addition to comprehensive medical benefits. Federal employees and annuitants enroll today. 2017 is rapidly coming to an end, and the big finish is on now. At Cars Plus in Mighty, get big year-end savings on a big selection of new 2017 Ram trucks, Jeep Wranglers, Dodge Challengers, and all Fiat models. Plus, buy from Cars Plus today and receive a Cars Plus value card, where you get 21 cents off per gallon at all Shell stations. Big savings and 21 cents off per gallon with a Cars Plus value card when you buy during the big finish at Cars Plus in Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. When you know what you want and you want it great, look no further than Ruby Tuesday's new Steakhouse Sensations menu. Choose from a 20-ounce dry-aged prime bone-in ribeye or an 8-ounce filet mignon tenderloin. Either steak seared to your preference and served with two specialty sides, like the Nancy mashed potatoes, grilled asparagus, or roasted Brussels sprouts. Enjoy surf and turf and add a succulent lobster tail or tender grilled salmon filet to complete your meal. This plus a whole lot more, it's Steakhouse Sensations for a limited time and only at Ruby Tuesday Guam. Connect with KUAM News. Find us on your favorite social media platform. Follow us and stay in the know with Guam's news leader. Hafadeh and welcome back to the show. We got a story for you now about two schools fighting for just one spot. 
The Guam Charter School Council met this morning taking a vote on a pair of new charter schools. KUAM's Carmen Terlahi has more. Both charter schools were ready for the green light. The council was set to decide between Sciences Fun and Awesome Academy Charter School or Career Tech Academy Charter School. Frankie Tovis and Selba Bauta agreed on one thing. I think that we should um, <coughs> meet with the challenge of deciding which is best for um, uh, the island of Guam, for the, the students of Guam. I still think we got to have a school move forward because both of them went through the process and completed that process. Yes, it's a hard decision, but that's what that's why we are appointed to make difficult decisions. If, if we can't make difficult decisions, then we ought to resign. Although absent from the meeting, Superintendent John Fernandez says he was not prepared to vote, citing two concerns. The first being the lack of a separate budget that can disproportionately harm DOE. The other, the limitation under the current law that won't allow both schools to be approved. A sentiment shared by council member Dr. Ancito Walter. It's not about timing, which one, which one is in or not, but it's about working together to make sure that those two children are treated fairly to be on board, not so be left behind. And we continue to work with the legislature. The council agreed they will meet with Senator Joseph and Augustine to discuss Bill 191. Senator Castro believes the decision wise. I felt that their decision to stay within the parameters of the law is the most prudent step and action anybody can take. I also think that their decision to appeal to the legislature for further consideration of the bill as introduced is also a wise action on part of the council. Though Bill 191 was not heard in November session, a public hearing has been set for December 18th. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Terlahi. What's the latest with public education? At Ukudu High on Wednesday, teachers, students, and senators looked, listened as Superintendent John Fernandez gave his State of Education address. Fernandez says DOE is focused on individual student success and moving forward with projects like pre-K expansion and college prep classes in middle and high schools across Guam. Fernandez also used his time to highlight a pressing issue for public education, the rebuilding of Simon Sanchez High School. Let's consider a temporary raise in the business property in the business privilege tax over a five-year period to raise funds for our hospital and for our school needs. How much would that help? It would raise, by some estimates, up to $325 million that we could split between the hospital and the school needs. Fernandez urged senators to pass the latest bill that would make DOE the sole leader of the Simon Sanchez rebuilding process. Giving the gift of life, Cortec International donated $33,000 to Guam Memorial Hospital Volunteers Association with which to buy a new ventilator. Dr. Kozue Shimabukuro says this is a much needed donation with older ventilators dating back as much as two decades. She says it's a gift needed for kids, kids, especially during the winter flu season. Or whatever else, you know, they're just born too young or something like that. And they cannot take a breath on their own. The machines that we are receiving is able to give that breath. So it is a gift of life, you know, uh, that you can give to the patient themselves and also to the parents. In terms of health care, she says as a pediatrician, it's her sincere hope that the community of Guam will realize the need for improvement. It's the time of the year that dozens get to hop on a plane and take a trip to experience the holidays like they've never seen before. KUAM's Carmen Terlai is at the Guam International Airport where she's set to go on a journey to the North Pole with some deserving children and their families. Thank you for your help today. My name is Carmen Terlai and we're here with United. We're about to board our flight to the North Pole. I'm here with Sam who's going to tell us a little bit about what we're doing here today. Awesome. United Airlines is doing this across the world. Uh, and trying to put on a great trip for uh, a bunch of different people. And we're really happy to be supporting the, the Raise of Hope organization, uh, supported by the Special uh, Education Department of uh, Education. We have 30 children uh, with psychological uh, challenges, and we're really happy to, to give them an experience and a trip to the North Pole for the first time. Nice! So everyone is wearing their favorite festive gear. We think it's going to be a little bit colder than Guam, so... You need to be prepared. Absolutely. Absolutely. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks so much, Thanks Sam. For
Back to you. All calm, of course, is at Tamuning and down the hill in Tumon. The lights are going up as our friends at the Guam Visitors Bureau are inviting the community to the official opening of the Holiday Illumination Village. This year's theme is a Guamazing Christmas. Participants also get to meet Santa Claus in person, face to face, and enjoy some awesome live music. The first hundred kids to show up also take home a very special gift. It's an annual event for a lot of families, and I see so many families that take their, their, their Christmas picture as a family there at the park as a tradition. So we're just really happy to be a part of it, and you know everything we do, uh, of course, is for the local community and our visitors, so that we can, uh, you know, come together and enjoy this uh, holiday time. The official opening of the not to be missed exhibit is this Saturday from 6 p.m. to 9 right next to the Tumon Sands Plaza in Tumon. The display will be open nightly this weekend through January the 14th. Sports is coming up next, but first, here's weather. Managing our wireless data used to drive my family crazy. But now that we've switched to GTA and get all that bonus data, we're spreading the love. You sure you don't mind the wait, honey? Take your time. I'm good. But we're missing the game. Nope. I've got bonus data from GTA. Come and watch. Love it. Get 10 extra gigs of wireless data on every line every month when you bundle. Visit GTA.net for more details. I prepare, I train through strength, determination, and focus. You can overcome anything because every step, every move brings you closer to your goals. This is what makes you an alpha. Warm up with the new Peking pork. Delicious crisp pork chop bites with hand-cut bell peppers and onions. Walk tossed in a sweet and sour glaze. New at Panda Express, where good fortune smiles. KUAM Sports is presented by Triple J. No offense to Senator Dennis Rodriguez, but the real D-Rod. Here on Guam today was the Dennis Rodman show down at the Hilton. Let's get it. Five-time NBA champion and Hall of Famer Dennis Rodman, the worm, making a stop on Guam for a self-proclaimed humanitarian mission to encourage peace. With most questions from the media dealing with Rodman's relationship with North Korean dictator Lil Kim Jong-un, KUAM Sports did get a couple sports-related questions in. Rodman's thoughts on the NBA today? The game has changed today. I mean, the game is more faster, bigger, quicker. You know, people make a lot more money. Rodman winning two titles with the Pistons and three with Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls, widely recognized as the best rebounder of the modern era. Rodman also played briefly for the San Antonio Spurs, L.A. Lakers, and the Dallas Mavericks. Well, I'm probably the only player to, to ever, to ever um, go from one team to another team, another team, and win. I never had a losing season when that no team I played for, so basically I think I did a great job. Rodman will be here for a couple days, so look for him at a basketball court near you. The Ace of the Month 2017 Ace of Aces 1 presented by the Guam Seniors Golf Association tees off Saturday at the Sars Golf Course in Dedito. Showtime 6 in the morning. For more info on the Starts Guam Golf Campaign, contact Ann Flores Pangalinen at 632-1111 or email ann at startsguam.com.
The Filipino Sports Association of Guam, also known as FSAG, kicking off the 2018 year with their annual basketball league. Opening games tip off January 21st in the newly renovated Astumbo Gym. Teams in the junior division ages 18 to 38 will take to the court under the open division. The senior division will be for players aged 39 to 44, masters 45 years to 49 years, and the Manumku division 50 to 54. And get ready for the Super Manumku! For players 55 and up, the FSAC Basketball League looks to celebrate their 17th season. Wow. Talk about longevity when teams take to the court for a chance to be crowned 2018 champions. Guam will make tennis history when the Guam National Tennis Federation sends the island's first ever Davis Cup team to compete in Oman in Group 4 Round Robin Pool Play January 29th. Selected to Guam's first ever Davis Cup team, Danny Lorenas, Christopher Cahigan, Jean-Pierre, J.P. Hyun, and Mason Caldwell of the four players selected. Only Lorenas has previous Davis Cup playing experience. He first played for Pacific Oceania in 2011 and has since been called up four other times. He's competed in 21 different ties with a 2-1 record in singles and a 17-4 record in doubles. Davis Cup, the World Cup of Tennis, began in 1900 and has since become the world's largest annual international team competition in sport. With 132 nations entered for the 2018 competition, including little old Guam. All right, since I'm not going to see you guys tomorrow, Bet Nest Friday. Viva Santa Maria Kamalin. Viva! Guasi Chris está adios. I had a dream. I walked into a dealership, picked out a new car, gave them no money, and they're letting me drive it for free the next three months. At Nissan Guam, your dream has become a reality during the premier year-end event. For the holidays, you can drive away a new Nissan with no money down and not make a payment for the next three months. It's on the house. No, no money, money down. down. We make your first three payments. Just sign and drive away. For details, stop by Nissan Upper Tumont or log on NissanGuam.com. Say hello to the widest 4G LTE network in the Marianas, Guam, Saipan, Tinian, and Rota. When your passion goes beyond your island, choose a plan that takes you further. With Docomo Pacific's My Plans, you can do a lot throughout the Marianas. 20 gigs for $79 or 30 gigs for $99. All the data you need to connect, share, and make all your ideas happen. Dream big, reach higher with My Plans. Docomo Pacific, better together. All 2017 models must go during Triple J Auto Group's Big Deal 2017 Inventory Blowout. We're making room for our 2018 models. That's right, all-out blowout sale. Thousands off on all 2017 Hondas, Acuras, Fords, Mazdas, Lincolns, Volvos, and Kias. Now is the time to check out the largest selection of brands on Guam. See PD and Post ads for details. Every customer receives a free gift. Stop by today or visit us online at TripleJGuam.com and trade-ins welcome. Some conditions apply. Triple J, 33 years of putting customers first. What would a show be without the Cold Stone Creamier Birthday Club? So, here we go. We hope tonight's birthday babies had a fantastic day. Happy birthday to Kanan Judea Gumaban. Happy second birthday. Lots of love from your family. Also, happy birthday to Kirita Borja tonight. KUM's own boss man, Joey Calvo. Hope you had a fantastic day from your KUM family. And happy belated birthday wishes tonight to Charles Sanchez. Happy birthday, everyone. And I'd also like to send a happy birthday out to my mother, Lolita Salas in Las Vegas. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Auntie. And remember, we want to invite you guys to follow us on all of our social media channels, KUAM News, on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, because we have a contest going on. If you answer trivia, you could win two possible tickets to go see the Star Wars The Last Jedi premiere. Byron over here, our camera guy, is dying to see it. So make sure you go there. Check us out on social media.
make a change in her life. Something on my personal side kind of happened and it shook me. So I decided, you know what, I, I, I need to do something that's completely out of my comfort zone, something different. And so I came in here one day and I, this was, yeah, over 10 years ago. And I was going to take a spin class. And I remember seeing a Guahan magazine and there was an article on the bodybuilding show from the previous year. And the picture was of two women, the winners, of course, and they just looked so empowered. They looked, I mean, beautiful and physically beautiful, but the, the aura that they were giving off in that photo was, it, it coincided with what I wanted to feel, you know, coming out of that like traumatic experience. Uh, so I, I just said, you know what, this is going to be my next goal. So I sought out a coach and uh, yeah, the rest is history. I just kind of never looked back since then. Des is a force to be reckoned with. Like most, she's competed, won some and lost some. It was her loss in a local competition in 2014, which she didn't even place, that had the biggest impact on her life. When I lost, you know, I wasn't even um, a thought in the judge's mind. It, it really devastated me. Um, I didn't allow it to really sink in and feel that loss, but a couple months later when I, I thought about it, I, I broke down. Um, but I saw that, again, I, I kind of took the good out of that loss and I was like, you know what, this is not, this loss isn't going to define me. So from there, that's what motivated me to take, um, take it off island. So I competed off island. I uh, qualified for nationals and then months later I went to Miami and placed at my first national show. So even though that was a loss, that made the biggest impact for me and that, that set me up for success till, you know, till today. I've taken her course six and core four classes and she is officially my hashtag life changer. So when I heard about her guns, guts and glutes class, I just had to check it out and it was no joke. <laughs> The response to her G3 class for the holiday season was overwhelming. Registration is at its capacity, but that's not stopping her from providing these three simple tips to keep your head in the game during the holidays. Number one, plan ahead. If you know that you have this Christmas party and this event to go to and then a family gathering on these days, use those days as your uh, treat days, you know, just know that those days are coming up. So you know what? You just need to stay on point leading up to those days, you know, use those days. And then, you know, when those last minute things happen, um, it, it'll kind of give you a little more willpower to say, nope, you know what? I already planned. These are my treat days for the month of December. I can't deviate from the plan. Tip number two, make your health a priority. As much as possible, make your gym time or if you get your workout in at home, make that or treat that as any other appointment, your doctor's appointment, uh, your appointment to get your hair done. You know, you need to treat it as any other appointment that you cannot cancel, okay? Because you're canceling on yourself. Tip number three, enjoy the holidays, but know your limits. I think one of the biggest mistakes most people make is they kind of say, no, you know, at this time I'm not gonna eat this and I'm not gonna eat that and I'm just not gonna go to this party. Um, the more you mentally deprive yourself, the, the higher the chances are of you kind of overindulging and, and binging. Um, so again, back to that tip number one, you know, you set those treat days and tell yourself, those days I'm not going to put a limit on it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy the, the Christmas um, treats that I, I've been looking forward to all year. Um, but again, that will be your motivation to stick to the plan because you know that at the end of the week or in two weeks, you're going to treat yourself. It all boils down to changing your mindset. And as for Des, she's also changed her focus. My personal goal, you know, of course, I want to step on stage again, get my pro card and, and just keep pushing forward from there. Um, but my, my, my first priority right now has shifted and I really want to see how much I can help other people and, and, and you know, to what level, because it seems like that's just limitless for me right now. Stay tuned, In The Mix continues after the break. From the network that brought you up to three times more data comes the dawn of a new data.
The epic story of Guam's only network brave enough to give 10 free gigs of bonus data on every line every month to customers who bundle their services. Reviewers are calling the offer totes awesome, best deal ever, and yes. Visit gta.net for details. Yaman, yeah, we won. Yeah, and to thank you all for making us Guam's best caterer two years in a row, we just doubled the variety of our potluck pans. Double the wins, double the pans, double the fun. At prices that are seriously affordable. Perfect for all your holiday gatherings. 12 exciting new dishes that will make you say, Yaman. Yeah, Call us today or visit our website to check out our new potluck pans. Double the wins, double the pans, more serious food, more Yaman. Yeah, Jamaican Grill, Yaman yeah, Serious Food. How does tourism work for Guam? Half a day! Tourism tax dollars fund improvements around our island. Tourism helps maintain our community centers and public parks.